Conflict is happening everywhere in the planet, in so many forms. Between two countries it is happening, between two communities it's happening, within the family it is happening, within you it's happening, yes? But it is only because there is conflict within you, there is a possibility of conflict outside of you, isn't it? Hmm? Because there is violence within you, violence is possible in the world. If there was no violence at all in you, would violence be possible in the world? No. So we just have to look at the conflict within. If we just settle this, outside conflict will slowly settle. It will take some time because we have put a certain momentum to it, but it has to settle, isn't it? If all of us become truly peaceful human beings, no conflict within us, would Bombay be peaceful? Hmm? Do we have to separately ca start a campaign for peaceful Bombay? No. If people were peaceful, society would be peaceful, isn't it? So what is the conflict? The conflict is just this, you got identified with things that you are not. You are identified with many things that you are not, isn't it? Right now, let's say this vessel belongs to you. You don't just hold it as a vessel. Let us say this vessel came to you from your great-great-great-grandfather. Now this is not just a vessel, yes? You are identified with it. If I just grab this vessel and go away, you are willing to die to get this vessel. Isn't it so? Because you are so identified with this vessel now, if I just break this vessel, your heart will break. Just see with how many things you have done this. From the clothes that you wear, to the people who live with you, the house that you live in, the things that you own and possess, everything has become you, isn't it? Yes? So what is you is not here, what is you is spread all over the place. When you are spread all over the place, naturally, wherever you move it gets entangled, it gets entangled somewhere. Yes? When what is you is so spread out, whichever way you go, every doorway you will get stuck. <laughs> That's what is happening. That's why there's constant friction and conflict, because you are identified with so many things that you are not. When I say you are identified with things that you are not, it also includes your mind, it also includes your body. Your thoughts are not yours, please see. Your emotions are not yours, please see. These are all things that you picked up from outside and identified yourself with. Isn't it so? Yes? Your body is not yours, it is something that you picked up from outside. If you sit here and you are not identified with anything, you are simply yourself. You are not identifying yourself with anything or you are not getting into your make-believe situation of being something that you are not. <clears throat> A man went to the psychiatrist. He went and said, Doctor, all the time I think I am wet paint. I am afraid to touch anybody, I don't want anybody to touch me because I think I am wet paint. Then the doctor said, that's no problem, I will treat you. Six months, the doctor gave him very expensive treatment. Then slowly the patient felt better and then he one day came and said, Doctor, I am just feeling fine, I don't feel like that anymore, thank you very much. He paid his bill and he wanted to shake his hands. He, he, the doctor said, I don't want to get wet paint on my hands. <laughs> Once you're identified with things that you're not, you're hallucinatory in nature, isn't it? And all the conflict is coming simply because you're not in touch with reality, you're hallucinatory. Your thoughts, your emotions are all coming from certain identifications, isn't it so? 
If you can sit here, this chamber will, will do to you. If you sit here, you will see your body is here, your mind seems to be somewhere out there and you are somewhere else. That means you've gotten disidentified with everything. You're just there. Once you're not identified with the body, once you're not identified with the mind, can there be conflict? Hmm? If you've known any kind of suffering in your life, the suffering has either entered you through your body or through your mind, isn't it so? Do you know any other kind of suffering? Once there is a distance between you and your body, once there's a distance between you and your mind, this is the end of suffering. This being cannot suffer anymore. Question of conflict doesn't arise.